Dai Dayu family and welcome uh, to Dr. Mumbi's spiritual show. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. Dai just, it, it basically is like peace upon you, peace be upon you. It's the Age Koyo greeting. That's how we greet each other. That's how we even speak to the Most High and many other things, family. So peace and blessings, grand rising, however you want me to put it. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on this channel. We appreciate, love you so much. Thanks for all the love in the comments, family. Uh, thanks to every single person that has subscribed. And of course, special shout out to everyone that supports us on Patreon. There is so much more information on Patreon and other videos and books and all these things. Um, and, you know, this is actually an Ask Dr. Mumbi because I've been getting this question a lot. And so I thought I'd start slowly, slowly. Uh, one of the the questions I get a lot is how where should someone start if they're trying to get rid of their religious psychosis if they're trying to come out of Christianity um, you know where does someone what kind of books should someone be reading how do they even start that journey and I thought it would be very interesting to share with you a particular book and this one should just blast everything out of the water that was written all the way back family um, in like 18 uh, let me just check. In 1865 or something like that. In Wait, let me just check. Um, in 1875 by an American free thinker called Kersey Graves. And it's called The World's 16 Crucified Saviors. And the whole book is about, you know, actually the full title is The World's 16 Crucified Saviors or Christianity Before Christ containing new, startling, and extraordinary revelations in religious history, which disclose the oriental origin of all the doctrines, well, I want to say Africa, but let's just stick with oriental, um, principles, precepts, and miracles of the Christian New Testament, and furnishing a key for unlocking many of its sacred mysteries, besides comprising the history of 16, quote-unquote, heathen, crucified gods. And I think I've said here on this channel so many times that the story of, quote unquote, Jesus was a story that they came up with. I think they met in Alexandria or something, the Pope and the Romans. And they, they had done, they had sent like all these studies and they, they saw that every indigenous people had this story of the manifestation of a God who literally reached self-mastery and then ascended into the heavens literally ever since, you know, the days of Egypt. And what he does is he actually goes on, you know, this um, graves. Uh, he And this book, they tried to hide it, by the way. They tried to hide it. And he goes on and says, one thing is clear, the mythos of the Hindus, the mythos of the Jews, the mythos of the Greek are all at the bottom the same. And what are called their early histories are not histories of humankind, but are contrivances under the appearance of histories to perpetuate certain doctrines. And he talks about, you know, how the many Christs, these gods, you know, God coming into the world and then being sacrificed and going into the underworld and then rising back into the heavens was commonplace among our people. And he, they mentioned even, these things didn't even come from Asia family. This came all the way from Egypt. That's where this story, you know, originated from. So they talk about, you know, from Krishna of India to Thulis of Egypt, 1700 BC, Krishna of India, 1200 BC, um, Thamuz or Tammuz of Syria, 1160 BC, Buddha um, of India, 600 BC. All these people have the exact same story, virgin birth, um, you know, God on earth performed merry miracles, reached nirvana, and then, you know, was somehow crucified by the people and went into the underworld before going up into, you know, the heavens. So family, I think this would be such a good book uh, to get. They talk of Osiris of Egypt, Oru of Egypt, uh, Zulis of Zuhe, Zul of Egypt, um, of, even they say Baal, Zoroaster of Persia, all had these stories. So which is the real story, family? Diva Tat of Thailand, even Bermrilla of the droids. I mean, these, some of these guys I haven't even heard of. I've only heard, to be honest, I've only heard of the Egyptian ones. Um, and they talk of the universal monarch of the Sibyls, um, you know, the Adonis son of the Virgin Lo of Greece, 
Mohammed or Mahomet of Arabia. And so, you know, the book claims that a number of these deities or godmen shared at least some traits of Jesus as described in the New Testament, drawing the strongest similarities with India's Krishna. And they, some, they say some figures had miraculous virgin births, were sons of supreme gods, were born on December 25th, had stars appoint to their birthplace, were visited by shepherds and a magi. You guys need to even look deeper into what a magi is. Because they say in the end times, the Magi shall return, family. And, you know, they say as infants, they fled from death as children, exhibited traits of divinity in childhood, spent time in the desert, traveled as they were taught, had discipled, performed miracles, were persecuted, were crucified, descended into hell after death, appeared as resurrections or apparitions or ascended into heaven. And he goes on, you know, also devotes chapters to the pagan roots of baptism and the Eucharist and concludes that Jesus was not a real person. One book, family. One book. And then you can go and do your research. You can actually go and Google these deities and read their stories and see, you know, expand your mind. Please watch the show I just did, which talks about how your ignorance is what is going to keep you from the kingdom of God. Your ignorance keeps you in hell because this is hell right now. What we're experiencing on earth, this is not what cosmic beings are used to. This is a bad situation, family that many have been, because of their religious psychosis, they see it as normal. That's why I call it a psychosis. It's not to insult anyone, but it's to open your eyes wide to what is really going on, to the game that's being played on you, family. And let me, quote, let me quote one of the things from his book where he says, you know, here I desire to impress upon the minds of my clerical brethren the important fact that the gospel histories of Christ were written by men who had formerly been Jews and probably possessing the strong procliv proclivity, damn, some of these words we haven't heard in a while, uh, to imitate and borrow, which their Bible shows was characteristic of that nation. And being written many years after Christ's death, according to the standard Christian author, Dr. Ladner, check him out and his works, go Google that, it was impossible under such circumstances for them to separate, if they had even had a desire to, the real facts and events of his life from the innumerable fictions and fables then afloat everywhere, relatives to the heathen gods who had pre-enacted a similar history. Two reasons are thus furnished for their constructing a history of Christ almost identical with that of other gods as shown in, and then he lists different chapters where that's listed. And of course, there's been many um, other critics of this who have said no, you know, um, who have said, who have gone against his whole theory that Christ was a myth. And there's many different arguments, family. Some say he didn't, he, he missed, you know, his sources were dubious and blah, blah, blah. But you see, we have the gift of reading these things not alone but with our spiritual team, our guardian angels. Knowledge will set you free. And we've never, as an African people, as people on the motherland, we have never had as much access to knowledge right now. You can go to PDF Drive family that I've shared so many times and get that book. You can buy it on whatever platform you want to, because I'm sure it's not in Africa. But open your mind, family. Because a lot of you, this is the one thing that is keeping the gates closed in your own life. That is making you spiral down with Babylon. Like, don't fall for, for, for people that don't love you on a fake story that they created to enslave you. And then get upset at the people who are bringing you the, the truth. Come on now. Anyway, please, family, if you've come out of the religious psychosis and there's some books that you have read, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I, I'm trying to compile a list. You guys have suggested so many. I know you guys want me to go with the books that I've read, um, but there's also some really good suggestions that people have made. So in good time, I will definitely release a book of some of the, you know, sorry, a show of some of the books you guys should be trying to get into or at least get in your library 
for future generations, for what you're teaching your children now? Because if you're not homeschooling your children at this point, but those are stories for other days. Tuko Pamoja.